Hi, Flosstube. Um, I'm Colette Kingsley, the highway stitcher, and um, I just came back from the Midwest Cross Stitching Retreat. And um, I have some pictures and video clips that I'd love to show you of some of the things that happened on my trip there and at the retreat and afterwards. And I'm going to put those in, insert those in right now. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you the haul that I got from the retreat. That was popular this year. This is cute. This is cute. That is I mean, that's just the important Is this the one you did, Suzanne? Yes. It's so much to that. No. And the lined paper. I almost did with that. Sorry, I was trying to. What is this? Oh, I'm 
talking. I saw it in there today. Snowy friends? Snowy? Actually, I don't think I saw the pair. Oh, this is I hope you enjoyed those pictures of the Midwest cross stitching retreat and video clips. I enjoyed putting them together. Now I'm going to go on to the haul that I got at different places, both at the retreat, gifts, um, stores, other things um, on the trip. So if um, seeing the video was good enough for you, then you can um, quit now. If not, if you love to see haul, then continue on with me. So I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start with. Um, I think I'm going to start with some of the haul that I got free from um, such kind, sweet stitchers at the retreat. And the first thing I wanted to um, show you is what um, Michelle Rudy, farm girl, put together for all of us at the retreat. And I'm not sure how many ended up there totally, but I know 75 is the amount that usually goes so she had to have put together probably this amount of these bags she hand michelle hand sewed these bags for all of us little project bags so that's probably 75 project bags if not more or less that she sewed for us thank you so much michelle and not only did she do these bags inside of them we also got little goodies we got this little notepad Pretty little rose notepad. And actually it matches the retreat bag really well. 
She also gave us some stitchy scissors. Some floss card holders that she, I'm not sure if she made these or what, but they're so cute. So are the different ones we have. And some wax. I didn't take it out of this little container, but it's in this cute little rose container and a little piece of wax in it for us, for our threads. And finally, she made us a little, I believe you could probably do this as a scissor fob holder or, or just put it wherever you want. But um, she stitched those for us and finished them. <laughs> Michelle, you're amazing. Thank you so, so much. This is all this, all these goodie bag things are just amazing. And um, I appreciate you so much and all you did to make our retreat so perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Michelle. Um, another thing that I got for a freebie thing, I have to go through all my stuff here and try to try to find what was what. Um, Kay, Dun Kay Dunlap made these cute little um, holders. You can put whatever you want inside of them. She gave them all out to us. So with a little holder there so you can put them on a keychain or whatever, or put them with whatever you want. So thank you, Kay. Lisa Nortman, she made these little um, floss holder with a pendant. I got a little um, snow band. It's hard to tell there, let me see. There we go. There's a glare from the window, so it's kind of hard to see his little face. <laughs> But anyway, it's a cute little snowman pendant. She added a few little beads. So thank you so much, Lisa. That was pretty special, too. Um, another gift I got, I don't remember who gave it. And so if they happen to be watching my um, floss tube or if somebody else is watching and was there and remembers who gave these, I would like to acknowledge them. And I don't remember. Everybody was running around doing things and my old brain wasn't catching up on everything. Somebody made these really pretty um, bags, or either made them or gave, or I'm not sure if they made them or if they just bought them and gave them out. But um, they're so pretty, and I'd like to acknowledge whoever whoever got that. So thank you so very much. If anybody happens to know, just let me know on my comments. Some of the things that I bought there is um, a piece of fabric here, the um, textilis, uh, Lori McCleary. She has been doing a lot of dyeing and, uh, you know, with her fabrics and she makes beautiful, beautiful fabrics. So this is one that I bought from her. She'd already sold out all the rest, but I thought this was absolutely beautiful. And, uh, you know, something I didn't write down the color of it. She has a color for it. And Lori's so good at remembering her colors, so I will ask her what the color was, but um, I forgot now what it is. But this is so pretty. She has been dyeing some absolutely beautiful colors, linen, linen colors. Thank you, Lori, so much. Uh, Primitive Stitcher, Suzette, was there selling her journal, journal books and also her uh, floss holder books. Last Midwest retreat, I got one of her journal books and I have been writing in it. This time I picked up two of her floss floss books. She puts rings on them, cardboard um, front and back, and then she has like a little card here to write down what floss is, and then of course the floss away bags. She has several here, probably a good 10, 10 or 12 of them. And um, they're very nice. I'm going to use some of them for my uh, re for my like projects that don't have quite so much floss, different types of floss. This one I thought was really pretty. Uh, the reason why I picked this one up was because it just kind of reminded me of a manna. Um, so anyway, that was this one. And then I also bought or picked bought another one from Suzette because I liked this one, the witches. So I can put my flosses in here for maybe a Halloween project. So thank you, Suzette, for bringing those to sell. And then um, one other person that I bought um, project bags from uh, at the retreat was Lisa Smith of Kindred Stitcher. Uh, she's been sewing uh, some bags, and I bought two bags from her. And her fabric is so beautiful. She has this beautiful um, kind of 
old world tapestry um, fabrics with the flowers. This is one I got from her. And they're very good size bags. I know I can fit a lot into them. She also has the cute little little fob here at the end. She put little buttons. This is cute. And then I also got this one from her too. Beautiful, beautiful flowers. And a beautiful job stitching. I actually didn't show you the inside of these bags. This one she has like a, a pretty red complement for the for the pink. And then this one, the one I just showed you, has a nice complementary color also to match with this. Thank you, Kindred Stitcher, Lisa. It's a beautiful job on your bags. Absolutely beautiful. Those were some of the things I bought actually at the retreat. Stitchers were there selling things. And I want to thank them for these. These are just beautiful. When I was out in Amana shopping, I don't have a whole lot of pictures of, of Amana itself. I'm sorry for that. I just got all excited and wrapped up in everything and there was just a lot to do and didn't do it. Uh, I get a, You saw a couple pictures of an inside of the general store and outside, one picture outside with a friend, but not really a whole lot. So I apologize for that. Uh, I did pick up a couple things though when I was there. I picked up this small um, little zipper bag to help me remember my trip to Amana Colonies. And it'll fit in like flosses or other things in my stitchy bags. And right here, I stuck this on here right here. It's actually a little pin, but it says Amana Colonies. There we go. It says Amana Colonies and shows where they're at. And I thought I could like uh, cut off the back and use it as a as a needle minder. So this was, that was cute too. Also there, they had a store, a quilt store called Heritage Designs. And um, when I was in there, I picked up some fabric. Um, I was there with Linda Jo, and I found some fabric that uh, had Route 66, which was different fabric than I've seen generally with Route 66. And I sent it home with her. She's going to make me a couple, uh, couple um, project bags. So I can't show you the Route 66 uh, fabric until I get them back. But I got those, and then I also picked up a, a couple um, cross-stitch patterns. They had cross-stitch patterns there. I had liked this Abbey Rose Designs, just saying, the three little um, pillows or pin keeps that you can do. I just like these sayings. Enjoy the little things. Today is a gift, and life is beautiful. I thought they would be you know, nice for little gifts, or I could even make them for myself. And then I also found a, a Snapperville, Bent Creek Snapperville. I haven't seen those around too many places. And um, it had the whole set. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the whole set and has the snaps with it. So I'm gonna show you all the parts to it. It, um, it had, it, when you're done with it, it's like a whole long piece. Um, so all the little patterns get put together and then there is also an extra pattern, the border pattern that goes along with it, which I can't show you because it's the actual pattern. But um, the border pattern has like trees on the edges, stars on the top, and, and underneath it says, teach us that we may feel the importance of every day, of every hour as it passes. So here's some of the um, parts for the Snapperville set. This is the stockyard. So it's like the little farm, farm Snappervilles, which I love being involved in in uh, farm stuff like I have been. This is the main street. Here's the town hall. Here's the barnyard. Here's the homestead. And here's the pumpkin farm. And they all come, as you can see, with the little snaps that go go all over them in different parts of the patterns. So I really was excited to see that um, as a kit that I could just buy all together. So that's what I picked up at Heritage Designs, that and the fabric. So let's see what I should go on to next. I'm going to put this down here. Um, I 
basically in the pictures that were at the beginning of this floss tube, I did already show you the stitchy box, what was in it. A lot of people have already shown Brenda Gervais' stitchy box that she gave us and all the patterns and all the um, accoutrements that we got in it, which were absolutely beautiful. But Brenda Gervais also had a shop and many of us went in there and bought things at her shop. I'm going to show you what I bought. It's probably a lot of the same things that other people bought, but I want to um, you know, let you know what I was interested in. I don't have all of Brenda Gervais' older patterns, so I picked up some older ones and then some of her new stuff that had just come out just for us at the retreat. So bear with me if you've already seen these from other Midwest uh, recaps. Anyway, this is the cute little Jack Frost ornament that uh, was just released at um, the retreat, which will be darling when it is made up. I also got this new one called Peppermint Pals. That guy is so cute in his little checkered pants. What a snowman. As everybody else has said, they just love this pattern. And I think that's so cute here with his, he's holding that little, <laughs> little basket with, with the cute little uh, snowman head. So, so, so cute. That was another new one that was so darling. This is another new one that she just released called Merry Old Soul. And I like Santa, what he's holding there too, his little um, little stocking and his little candy cane stuck in his little waist. So, so cute. And this one was pretty. It was like a band sampler called Candy Cane Lane. This is also a new, re uh, new release. Be Jolly was there in the middle with the Christmas house and the cute little snowman there next to it. The reindeer, the presents, the little snowman down below. And that's a darling new pattern also. And then uh, she released, um, just released for us the, uh, she had a retreat, or she was at a retreat at Shepherd's Bush. And um, she designed a uh, sampler pattern just for them that was called Winter Rose Manor. And she just released it to us and then it will be released to everybody else soon. And that was something that I was really looking forward to, to buying. so pretty. The rest of these are ones that she's already released, but ones that I never got. And by looking at them from her shop, it made it a little bit easier for me to like pick what I thought I mostly wanted. There was one of her patterns she didn't have there. She apologized. She said in all her packing, she thought she had, had put everything in, but that one she hadn't. But that was all right, because I think I had overdone myself money-wise anyway. But I got this brick house sampler. I always thought that was so pretty. The birds, the brick house, the little dogs, and that uh, border pattern down at the bottom was beautiful. I also got this one. This is an old one of hers, Heart and Hand. I've always liked the hands to work, hearts to God of this one. And I do like the, the people in there and the house and the border. I love that border. And love that fabric too. I'm sure I'm going to do it on a fabric similar to that. And then this is Harriet Elizabeth Coe, and it's a reproduction. Um, it was a reproduction of, of work done in 1844. That's sure pretty. I'm not taking them out of the plastic because um, I just have too much thing, too many things I bought and probably take me an hour to put them all back so I'm gonna have to tell you that's why you're gonna see them because I'm not gonna take them all out of the plastic not all of them so that was what I got at Brenda's store so now on to I'm not really going in order per se here um, I'm sure there's gonna be things sitting on my tables all around here that are making it to where this is totally out of order but at least you'll be able to see them all. <laughs> anyway, one other thing that I was going to mention about s stuff I bought at Amana is right over here. And first of all, I'm going to show you, um, there was a store about 15 minutes away from, from middle Amana, which is where we were at. And um, it was called the Woolen Needle. And it had uh, a lot of wool applique, rug hooking, fabric, a beautiful, beautiful store. And uh, 
I really wasn't planning on going over there. I was just busy stitching. But one morning, um, the bed and breakfast I stayed in was about two and a half, three miles from the actual retreat center where we stitched. And so I would get rides from people in the morning. And one morning I asked uh, Teresa Vanette of Kitten Stitcher and Jen Reagan um, of, oh, Jen, I'm sorry. I forgot your your name. I'll put it above in this video when I remember it. Anyway, they were gracious to give me a ride back to the retreat center, but they told me they were kidnapping me for a few minutes because they had to go to this wool and needle. And so I said, oh, that's fine. If it has row cooking stuff and wool, I'd love to go look. So I stepped in with them and really enjoyed myself. Um, I picked up some fabrics for finishing. And this is a real pretty... I'll show you the fabrics, uh, these little fat quarters that I got for finishing for when I'm finishing up cross stitch pieces. I really like this one. This one's so pretty. I guess it's better that way. The little red birds, they're so cute. I love them. This one is beautiful. That's very similar to the uh, project bag that I got from Lisa, Kindred Stitcher. And then a real pretty piece of green fabric. And I also got, these are like little um, little pieces of fabric that they roll up into little little circles. I know they're called a little thing and I forgot what it is. Again, I don't remember all the names of things. But these are enough to, each one of these is enough to, to finish a little small for a gift or for myself. So I got these are more like a browns and greens. And I got one with like reds and uh, yellows and browns. And, not yellows, more, mostly kind of browns and reds. And then I also got one with blues and greens. So I'm set with a lot of finishing fabrics. Um, when I was there too, I found some wool that I could, uh, pieces of wool that I could use for finishing. Lots of pretty different blues in that one. And then this one has different, different colors of greens. And then, of course, I, first place I went was over to the rug hooking section because I like to do rug hooking. And um, they had some own, they had their own patterns that they had designed. So I picked up this little small one to make a little stool cover. And this is Rodney. He's Rodney the little woolen needle chicken. He's a little rooster, Rodney the rooster. So that'd be a nice remembrance of me. I can hook him and uh, keep them as a remembrance of that nice store, the Woolen Needle store. And I also picked up a um, uh, hook. When I'm, if I'm at places where I'm doing rug hooking, I like to look uh, for anybody who's selling rug hooks because I like to get a collection of them. This one is very pretty. I like the wood grain in that one. It's so pretty. And it has a nice little rest for my thumb. Green is just beautiful. And this is about the right size for me. I usually do about a medium uh, cut. I do some primitive cuts of, of large cut, larger cuts, but I tend to do either large or medium. I don't do a lot of fine cuts, so this one will be about the right size. So anyway, I had found what I wanted. You know, I had some finishing wool, finishing fabric, and a few little rug cooking things. So I'm just standing around, you know, following uh, Jen around some, following uh, Teresa around and uh, Lisa and Lori showed up and they were wandering around too and Suzette a primitive stitcher was there and um, I sat down for a little bit while they were still shopping and then I got up and and I happened to be standing next to Jan Reagan and so Jan I'm gonna blame you for this but I think I may have fallen in love with some aspects of wool applique but probably not everything she goes, oh, look at this, isn't this cute? It's a penny rug, but it's a flag. And what was really neat about it, I wish I had taken a picture. As you can see, all the little pieces of the wool, the red, white, and blue. When you, you do a blanket stitch around the edges of each one of those little pieces, and then you sew them with a little thread connecting the next one. 
So it's like a, a mat that moves, you know, has some movement to it. And you can set it down or hang it up. And it was the most darling thing I've ever seen in my life. And I had never really been tempted by by well applique, but this this like pulled me in. And I can't wait to start this. I thought this was so cute. And it's got everything but the but the thread I'm gonna be using. So and got the instructions, all the penny penny wool pieces. So maybe I'm more of a penny wool person, who knows? But um, I'm glad, I sh I'm sure glad I went there with, with them. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Jen, for um, taking me to the woolen needle. It was well worth it to me. It just got me really excited. And I put all these things in a couple baskets that I got from the Mana Furniture Company. Oops, almost forgot something else. I also got this red ticking fabric when I was at the Woolen Needle. You can see all the different colors for that, for finishes, finishings, for backings. I loved that. So I also got that too. Anyway, when to go back to what I was originally going to say, like I said, I'm going to be mixing up uh, what order this is in because there's so much I to remember. Anyway, when I was at Amana, um, my friend Marcy had mentioned that she had gone over to Amana Furniture Company and found a really cute um, shaker box. Um, and so I went over there just to see what I could find. And this was the one that she had original, one of the ones that she had found. And it's a big size with a handle on it. And she got this along with some like nesting box ones. And I asked her, I said, were there any more of these? And she said, well, I don't know, you can go check with them. So I went over there and um, first the lady goes, I don't think we have any more. I think that was the last one, but she says, I'll go in the back and look. So I said, that's fine. So I started looking around the store while she was checking and I ran across this one with a little handle. You know, like a little handle like that kind. And I went, oh my, if she doesn't find the other one, I'm still a happy camper because I fell in love with this one. So I took this one up to the front and uh, she goes, oh, I found the other one. So I went, oh my, which one should I get? I ended up getting both. I'm going to use one in my stitchy room to put all my stitchy implements in. And I'm going to use the other one maybe out in the family room. So it'll be sitting there so I can have other stitchy implements in that. So that was what I picked up at um, in Amana along with my little zipper case from the Amana colonies. And that was like a last minute, a last minute choice because I was just having fun stitching, talking, you know, being with people. And um, I really wasn't gonna go over there. And then probably about the last hour before they were closing on the last day on Saturday, I thought, well, I think I'm going to go over there. So I'm really glad I did because I really, really like those boxes a lot. And I was glad I could pick up a couple. And from what uh, Michelle Rudy has told me and other people too, I got them for a really good price. So that was good too. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, regress a little bit on my haul. I started out at the retreat and showed you the stuff in Amana Colonies at the stores I got. I showed you what I got from Brenda Gervais at her store and I also showed what I got from people who were selling at the um, retreat. But before I even got to the retreat I also um, acquired more stash. And that was because as you could see from the beginning of my pictures that I stopped at my friend Marcy's house in Kansas and she told me that we should go ahead and do a um, trip to picture this plus fabric and then from there stop in uh, Ohio I mean Ohio stop in Omaha Nebraska and uh, before we got to Omaha stop in Russell Nebraska where Julie of Reflections Framing and Stitching has her store. Marcy wanted to drop off some pictures that she wanted framed and wanted to see the store because she had never been there and neither had I. So I got to see a couple stitching stores, fabric stores, and I was really jazzed and excited. So I'm going to show you what I got at um, Picture This Plus first.
course I got fabric and I've been in Picture This Plus's um, fabric club before for a couple years actually but of course I don't have everything and I have a lot of neutrals so when I went there I decided to pick up more vibrant colors this time if they had them and um, I've always liked prank so this is 32 count prank you can use it for some Halloween stitching sometime Another color I picked up is called Da Vinci, and it is a um, mottled uh, purple with some light, light brown in it. I also got one called Midas, and these are all 32 count linen, I think. I may have one Lugana here. If there is, I'll let you know. This is Midas, 32 count linen. A pretty orange and yellow. I could have gotten, I could have filled up on like 20, 25 fabrics. What was lucky for me, money wise, is that Picture This Plus was having a sale at that time and also was back ordered on a lot of their fabrics. And they put their fabrics, uh, like they fold them up and put them all out on this in this um, kind of little box with them all stacked up. And they were really out of a lot of different colors because they were trying to catch up with, with the sale and with other ones. So that saved me in buying tons more because there wasn't all that much that I could buy. This is gingerbread. This is a color I always wanted and it was never in my club. So I really like this. This is just really pretty. I also got another one called Solar. And it's it, this is Lugana, 32 count Lugana. This is similar to Midas, but the difference with this one, and I'm sure probably some of you have seen this before, is the burst, like the solar burst that's in the middle of this one. And I'll show you in a minute what my plan is for that, because um, I do have a plan. I have a, a pattern that I picked up there, a picture of this plus that I want to do on this that I think is going to look really cool. And actually, I found two patterns, one a picture of this plus and one of reflections that would both work good with, with this solar. And then the final piece I got was also linen, 32 counts, called Splash. It's a darker blue. Shades, like a teal, maybe more. Uh, lighter shades of teal, darker shades of teal. Very, very pretty color. So I ended up with several several fabrics from Picture This Plus, which is no surprise. But I also got a lot of uh, patterns too. Um, you know, whenever you're at a different place that has patterns, sometimes you see ones that either you put on your wish list at one, two, three, or you maybe never picked them up, or you go, oh, here's where I can pick it up from you. So um, I found this one. I've I've always liked this. It's called it's all through the night pattern. It's a sheltering tree. Friendship is a sheltering tree. I could think of dozens of uses for this, and it's not really too big, especially if you do it on a small count. So, so many good stitching friends, and um, a good pattern to use for that. This one, I didn't like the picture, but I think this one could be really cute, done on a particular kind of fabric and flosses. Picked it up, it's a praiseworthy, called Freedom Park. Um, I just fell in love with this, not with that picture, but with what it has in it. Um, all the stuff happening on an on a old time uh, freedom, like 4th of July picnic. Just love this. And I think that could be really, really pretty. Just have to put it on, you know, different fabric, maybe the same colors, but I think this could be absolutely beautiful and so patriotic. I love that. Uh, I also got um, a Glendon Place. I've always wanted this, so when I saw it there, I figured it was a good time to pick it up. The um, Mandala, I mean the Round Bird of Paradise. Love the colors on that. Somebody's been working on this, and I don't remember what floss tuber. I can't even remember half the things that I buy at all these places when I buy too much, so I can't remember the floss tuber who's working on this, but somebody was, and it was really coming along beautifully. I also got um, this spooky house. I, I enjoyed this this particular house here. I like how at the top of the roof there, you know, it looks like his eyes and his mouth, and then people inside the house there with spiders and little spooks and everything. It's a little different looking house. 
Um, this designer is a Sander Parlow. Had never heard of her, but I think that could have a lot of possibilities. And I don't normally pick up spooky houses, but I like that one. What I really fell in love with, my, my youngest granddaughter is, is into uh, dragons right now. And a long time ago, probably three years ago or so, for me a long time ago, I had run across these fire wing designs, but then had never pursued it. And when I was at Picture This Plus, they said that this person who, who does fire wing designs is a local, uh, close by, I guess. And so they deal in their designs. And um, I thought, oh my goodness, I have to make some of these for my Sophie girl who just turned eight. Um, she just loves dragons. This is Pilot. And I just love the way those dragons are done. And that wouldn't take very long to do at all. But they're just so awesome looking. This is Paladin. And this is Samurai. And then she also has a round shape called Eclipse with the dragons coming out of the center. And as you can tell probably from that fabric, that is solar fabric from Picture This Plus, the one I just held up for you with the, uh, with the flash coming out of the middle of the, of the darker orange. And I think that that would be a really cool, cool finish with that fabric and this pattern. And then I also found this Quaker pattern called Dragons. Um, it says Wickenburg Online. I don't really recognize it. Looks like it might be Dutch or something. But I like all the dragons as well as the Quaker motifs in that. Uh, Dragon Quaker. <laughs> so. so that's what I picked up at Picture This Plus. And then when we got to Julie's shop, which was Reflection, uh, Framing and Stitching, I picked up some patterns there also and a couple pieces of fabric. Um, I picked up a 40 count Lakeside Linen Cedar Plank. This is a little bit hard to see with the, with the glare right now because the sun's trying to come out amongst the clouds. We've had a cloudy day. But I think you can kind of see the shading, the subtle shading that's typical of vintage Lakeside. Just a beautiful kind of um, a subtle, um, a subtle, I don't know what to call it, like purples? I'm not sure, but it's just beautiful, beautiful fabric. Marcy and I both got this, a piece of this. She also got about five other pieces of fabric, but I only got one other. I got a 40 count of this Blackbird fabric by r and &R. This was beautiful, a beautiful fabric. And then I picked up a few patterns also when I was there. And one of them can also work really good with that solar fabric that I got from Picture This Plus. It's these witches in the, in the round. Aren't they cute? And uh, they're, they're also done on that solar fabric. And I just recently, um, well, just a couple days ago, Marcy sent me a picture. She had been at a shop in Arkansas. I think it's Stitcher's Garden. I'm not sure. But anyway, she showed me a picture on the wall of, of a completed um, of this. And they had put beads for the hats, all beads, where the hats were. And it was absolutely beautiful. So I might end up doing that too. It really looked cool. I also picked up um, With the Needle too, Lila Studio. I had seen this one when it came out and liked it. It's, this is an enormous piece, so who knows when I'm going to get around to getting that done. But I do like it. You can see the, the little houses and people and the boat and the fish and the border, the port beautiful border with the birds and the, the um, deer and just I just love this piece it's a beautiful piece and then I I like um, more Blackburn traditional samplers a lot 
and they had quite a few of them at, Julie had quite a few of them at her shop. And this three, th three things sampler is one that I had on my wish list on one, two, three, some time to get. Um, so I saw it there and I picked it up. I like the colors in this a lot. And I love the saying, it says, three things there are that will never come back. The arrow that forth, shot forth on its destined track, the appointed hour that could not wait, and the helpful word that was spoken too late. I just think that's not so true. So I love that pattern. So I think I got through all of my haul amazingly, and that only took 37 minutes. I was hoping to take less than that, but that's life, guys. So anyway, I'm going to end this video now. Um, I'm going to do a regular video later of just what I got accomplished um, for my stitching um, and, you know, the other regular things I do on my regular video and put it separate from that so it won't be, this one won't be so long. So anyway, if you guys ever have a chance to go to a retreat, go, go, go. It's well worth it. This one is absolutely fabulous. And in, in that area, to have it in Amana Colonies is also wonderful. Uh, beautiful place, beautiful shops, um, fall leaves. It, it was just perfect. So thank you again, Michelle, um, Farm Girl. And thank you to all my friends. Many thanks to Marcy for letting me stay at her house, being such a, a wonderful, um, hospitable hostess, um, and how much fun we had there and back, and all the other trips we made, and many thanks to all my friends, new and old, that I got to see again and met new at the retreat. And um, I wish you all love, laughter, remember to always, um, always be aware of the beauty that's around you and uh, appreciate it always. Love you lots, and I'll talk to you again in a little while.